Hello friends, family, acquaintances. My name's Marie Lopez. I'm an independent color street stylist. And today I'm doing a mixed mani for Halloween. Um, I'm not really big on Halloween, so it's not super fancy. But uh, I am <clears throat> copying it from someone else, uh, from a mani that I saw in one of the Nelfi groups, and I'm going to be using Gleam On, one of the, oops, oops, one of the FX um, Prism sets. It's black with all kinds of, like, rainbow glitter there, and a Halloween set, Jack of All Trades. It's not available anymore. But since it's for Halloween, I'm going to be using it. And then Web of Lies. I'm only going to be using one for each hand of this one. So here we go. So when you first get these, I'm going to open them up, obviously. Um, if you're new, there is instructions. These are 100% nail polish, no dry time top coat color and the base coat comes with a nail prep pad and a nail file and your two rows of eight nail strips so usually I try to do this beforehand but for some reason I forgot and I kept telling myself I was going to do it but you want to wipe your nails off with the alcohol prep pad that it comes with or if you have your own alcohol you can i usually try to save those for my vips which if you're not in my vip group uh it is rainbow nails by marie i will post the link below you should join um also talk about join subscribe to my channel right here on youtube um, and like my videos, if you don't mind, or unless you don't like them, but I hope you like them. Anyway, I also wipe my pads and my fingers off as well, because they also have oils on them. So once you do that, you're good to go. Um, you can also use Dawn dish soap. If you want, um, some people do use Dawn dish soap to clean their nails. Maybe the alcohol is a little bit drying, drying for them. But um, so there's two rows of eight. Oh, this is so pretty! You can't really see the how pretty this color is. Um, but some people do, and then you don't have to use the alcohol prep pad if you were to do that. All right, so when you first start, you wanna, I already just pulled that off, pull off the clear coat or clear cover, and then you'll peel with the silver tab, peel this off, and then pull off that tab. So I already know which sizes fit my nails um, if you don't get it on just right the first time you can lift it off as long as you haven't pressed it down I do like to file my excess off um, so what I'm going to actually do this time is I'm going to cut it like that and save it for my other hand. <clears throat> wow, that is, so my nails are very weak. Um, and I broke a couple since I take, try to take my polish off the day before and then uh, I'm sorry seems like the snail strip is kind of dry or it's just me um take it off the day before give my nails a little break 
and um, then I like to take this cuticle pusher and just push this down a little make sure it's down all the way uh, and so I like to have a day between when I take my polish off and apply some more so that I can you know push my cuticles back and put my oils on and ha just have that extra time on them um so that's what I did oh and I put this on the wrong side Let's see if it's I think it'll still work so then you can use one strip for two nails if they're not too long mine mine are kind of long but i've got short nail beds so they they're they look long but they're not really that long um i know with these chunky glitters also if you get a a chunky glitter that's hanging off to the side um it's good to use either nail clippers or like the cuticle nippers to um, clip that off of the the edge right there. I took off a little, <clears throat> excuse me, a little much there, but I'm okay with it. That's really pretty. Okay, so this is how, when you first get them, you wanna size them up, make sure they fit on both sides. And I think I'll use this one for that. I broke this nail and then I broke the side of this nail and then I was setting up to record and I broke right here. I broke my thumb. Uh, my nails are just so brittle. Um, they didn't used to be so brittle I mean, I've always had like thin nails, but they're, it seems like ever since uh, I got my thyroid taken out that my nails are extremely brittle. Does anybody else have that problem? Does anyone else, has anyone else had thyroid disease and had to have your thyroid out? I mean, I guess I could have kept the thyroid in the only problem was that uh, I had a tumor uh, that was the size of a large plum and it would interfere with my carotid artery in uh, the time I was delivering for Amazon and see what I did. There was a piece of chunky glitter and I I pulled it right off. Darn it, but that's okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, I don't know if this one, yep, it is long enough. Uh, so actually my cardiologist is the one who noticed it. He was doing an exam. Ugh. Let me get that over far enough. I wonder if I can peel this off. He was doing my exam and you know how they touch your throat and tell you to swallow. Well, he was doing that and I couldn't swallow. So he thought he felt like a lump in there. So he sent me for an ultrasound and sure enough, there was a huge lump in my neck. Um, so yeah, I had to decide to leave it, just biopsy it and see, or just take my thyroid out. Um, so I, I decided to just take it out. I didn't want to deal with that because I, I, when I would eat and drink, I was choking and it was just kind of scary actually so um you do your thumbs last and i plan to do my thumbs with this um but i'm gonna do my thumbs last so i don't ruin them in case i end up 
using them as a tool. So actually, I just put this off to the side. And next is going to be the Jack of All Trades. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Sometimes they don't want to cooperate. Okay, there we go. All right, so Jack of All Trades. I'll leave all the other stuff in there. Oh, pretty. That is pretty. So anyway, I... I waited a couple months and finally decided that, yes, I, I just need to get it taken out. Um, it was really uh, interfering with my health. So, yeah, they took it out. And that was just in 2017. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And... Put this on the middle finger. So take that off again. Um, turns out that the other side of my thyroid had a tumor growing there too. So I guess I made the right decision. This is pretty sheer. I didn't expect it to be that sheer, but yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see. You can just kind of see right through it. Here, let me put this up next to it. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, it just seems like my fingernails are extremely brittle. But I'm glad that I can, you know, grow them out. And wearing Color Street for me, Color Street seems to um, help them when I have the polish on. That's why when I take it off, I need to put it back on the next day. However, this time it's been off... Um, Today is actually the third day, so that's probably why I had some nails kind of breaking. Not really kind of breaking, they were breaking, huh? Anyway, but they grow back, so I'm okay with that. Ooh, I hope this looks good together. I mean, it looked good in the picture that I um, screenshotted and copied this from. So, we'll see. Oh, and you guys, tomorrow morning, we just got an email that Color Street is releasing, oh, what do they call it, from Christmas Pass. Um, oh, that is so ooh, pretty. Um, they're releasing tomorrow three past Christmas shades and they are does this one fit better it's kind of small uh oh my gosh i can't remember now and i even made my post in my vip group already well it's scheduled for twelve seventeen. um oh uh wrap it up the christmas wrap one and what else was it the santa and the snowman one from the past um i'm really sorry i don't remember what they're called and i did plan to oh, I bet that's not gonna pick up i did plan to um my goodness, I'm sorry. I can't even <laughs> remember what I was going to say. It's late. Oh, I did plan to download this tonight after I get done with it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I will have my link attached down below if you would like to order. Um... 
if you I don't know if they're gonna go fast I would assume that these will go really fast these Christmas ones but we've been thinking that about a lot of other sets and they haven't been uh, going uh, being you know bought as fast as you would think they would be so I don't know but um, yeah so that's what's going on tomorrow we just got the email tonight and it's funny because my sister and I were just talking tonight about she said make sure you let me know if there's anything coming out soon and that was like I don't know an hour and a half before I got the email saying <laughs> that they're uh, launching tomorrow at, well, 8.30 Pacific Standard, but 10.30 was at Central Time. So it was 11.30 Eastern. I'm on Pacific Standard Time, so. Ooh, look at that so far. Pretty. Okay, so that's all I'm doing on this. And... I'm just going to do one from here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See, it doesn't always open just right like it's supposed to. wonder if that's why they've changed their packaging so much. <laughs> because they're trying to figure out the best ways to, um, to do this. Let me see. Hold on one second. Okay, I had to get a drink. Okay, so, um, I, there's, I just, there's no way I can wear a spider. I just can't. It's bad enough that I'm giving in to wearing a web because I have got a horrible arachnophobia. I, I, I can't even believe I'm doing this, to be honest. It's, I, I can't believe it. I know that just sounds so ridiculous but I it's I, there was a time years and years and years ago that there was a spider in the bathroom and my husband I screamed for him to come and he comes <laughs> to get the spider he locks me in the bathroom with him because he's really what he's really trying to do is get me to quit being so afraid of spiders and he locks me in there while he kills oh sorry while he kills the spider and would you believe i threw up oh my gosh i couldn't handle it <laughs> i think about that oh man then uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's just because uh, I have such a arachnophobia that all these things happen to me. Um, is I had just had one of my daughters, and oh, we came home one night, and we lived around a lot of trees or a lot of trees lived around us, one of the two. And I had the baby in the car seat. I put her down to open the storm door to unlock the front door. And as I did, here comes this white spider. I swear, it's like it was charging at me. And I, and I go, <gasps> and I sucked it right in and down my throat it went unbelievable can you even believe that would happen only me you know oh my gosh so i stuck my finger down my throat trying to puke this spider out i was so disgusted nope can't make myself throw up like that couldn't do it so i had to suffer all night with a spider I mean, I'm sure my stomach had, 
oh, it sounds disgusting to say, chewed it all up, right? Was digesting it, but oh my gosh, have you guys, has anyone else ever swallowed a spider accidentally? <laughs> Not on purpose, I hope. It would have to be an accident. Can you even believe it? It's just insane. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I'm not really normally, I mean, I've been getting out of my comfort zone. <clears throat> I'm not really a, a um, really mixed manny, fancy, schmancy, in it up kind of um, person. But since I started doing the YouTube videos and putting um, the mixed mannies on, or doing mixed mannies, I'm kind of liking it. I just have to... I guess I didn't copy last week's. I was going to say, I just have to copy people because I just am not a creative person like that. I can't think of things on my own that might go together. But then I did do um, last week. So, you know, if you have a wide nail you and it's short enough, you can also turn. Normally, we would put it on like this. But you can turn... The, the nail strip sideways when it's the same you know if it had a design on it you could still turn it if you wanted to it's it, there's no right or wrong but um yeah you can do that and that works also for wide nails and if they're short enough you see that and I am using my um, to do that so you can do it that way or you can take a cuticle stick an orange stick and push it down this way and break it off you just have to be careful if it's got that chunky glitter which I can fix this later I'll file that down um, this thumb broke and so it's uneven because I don't I didn't want to cut it all you know short all the way down this way where it broke um then my skin would be all sore on there so all right this one is the really wide nail strip which it does work also on me I can put this one just the right way That's the thing. I had someone buy from my stash and she's got very, 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 very wide nail beds and they're long. I I can't at all. Even if her nails are short, there's no getting, uh, doing two, two nails with one strip. It's impossible with her with her nails, but um, she was worried because she's got rheumatoid arthritis, so her fingers are a little pretty crooked. And you know what? They looked amazing with, I bet I can't cut that. Nope, I'm gonna have to do it this way. Um, her nails looked amazing when I put the nail strips on for her. Oh my goodness. And she never wears nail polish because she's got such manly fingers. They're her nail bed. You can't even bend her fingers, the, her fingernails though. They're so strong. Okay. Look at that. I'm all done. You see it? It's pretty. What do you think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. I'll be glad when Halloween's over so I can start wearing other manis besides Halloween-ish ones. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Good night.